Okay, I am talking about some of the advancement that's happening on uh, cloud computing to move all your analytics on the cloud. Now, the legacy framework has been using Excel VBA. And, and the new model that is being proposed, which might make uh, life very easy and smooth and which will increase uh, uh, the flexibility is um, Google Sheets. Now to create macros in Google Sheets, uh, you need to look at uh, Google App Script. Uh, so when you migrate from uh, the offline version of Microsoft, SQ, uh, Microsoft Excel, and you want to go to Google Sheet, then I have pointed out like six things that you need to take care of and, and the changes that might happen. The first is uh, the old model is to keep Excel on your system and synchronize uh, your hot disk all the time. Uh, but in Google Sheet, you're already on the cloud uh, and parallelly at the table Excel exists. So that's uh, that's an advancement. So two people can work and open the same Excel. Uh, then you have uh, code for uh, automation, which was used uh, by VBA in, in Google Script. It's a uh, JavaScript. You can also run your uh, spreadsheet on uh, Android device, which was not possible in, in Excel. Uh, R, MATLAB, and Python were used locally. You have APIs to use Python and R. It's under development, so I don't know how much good they are, but it says that it should work. Uh, VBA was used to create PDF folder, move files, or like print PDF. Uh, on the other hand, uh, in, in Google app uh, script, uh, you use JavaScript to create move folder on Google Drive, which is again on the cloud, and SQL is also on the cloud. You don't need a local, SQ, local SQL. Uh, PowerPoint slides can import charts from your Excel file. That, that is also uh, possible in Google Sheets. Uh, and data tables are not present in um, Google Apps Script. That, that's, a, that's a trouble, so you have to find a way uh, around it, but, but that's possible. You can write a macro to, to do the same stuff for you. So these are the six points that uh, I wanted to talk about.